From the first moment I arrived in Hanover, I immediately understood why Dartmouth is so special. I loved everything, from the sunrise hikes on Musilock to the late nights at Novak study rooms. But the one thing I didn't get was Pong. My first game, I almost got golden treed, losing without hitting a single cup, and was so embarrassed that I didn't play again until my sophomore year. Four years later, however, I've come around on Pong, and I now count it as among the many Dharma traditions that I cherish. Now, you may be wondering, is this guy really going to talk about Pong? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> For myself and many of you graduating today, Pong really isn't about alcohol. Athletes and scholars play with water, and this year's senior masters winner has never drank in his life. <laughs> Any beverage works because no matter what's in the cup, a sink is a sink. Now, jokes aside, the thing that makes Pong memorable is the people you get to play with. It facilitates friendships all across campus with amazing people. Even when we have no other activities or classes in common, we can still bond over teamwork, cooperation, or calling out the spin on a serve. Some of my closest friendships have started from coming back from a tree or gutting it out half-half against a close opponent that I just met. Pong also is not specific to any particular Greek affiliation or location. Many of the most entertaining games occur inside living rooms or off-campus apartments between friends who are playing honestly, hitting high, and making good conversation. This spirit of inclusivity and creativity is what drives the emotions that we feel during other Dartmouth experiences as well. For example, homecoming. It's not remembered fondly because there's a big fire. We remember it because it's an opportunity to find a common ground, no matter how different our backgrounds, friend groups, or academic interests may be. This mindset is what turns our exciting and mundane experiences alike into uniquely Dartmouth experiences worth remembering for the rest of our lives. Dear President Hanlon, faculty, and the Board of Trustees, I'm done talking about Pong. <laughs> it's just one of many traditions that unite us. Our best college moments were forged in communities like the performing arts, sports, and religious spaces. We'll all remember going on trips, meeting friends during O week, and walking around the bonfire, doing the lose challenge at the end of a hard exam week, winter carnival in Green Key, darty season once the snow melts, pretending to study with our friends on FFB. These traditions seem silly to people outside of Dartmouth, but they're the things that we'll miss most dearly. And now, as we leave these traditions and embark on our separate journeys beyond these walls, let's cherish the memories we've made and the friendships that we've forged. Let's reflect on the many things to be grateful for. Dartmouth has introduced us all to incredible people and communities. To coach John Turner and the Dartmouth Forensics Union, you were the first community that embraced me as a freshman. I'll never forget competing across the country on weekends and spending hundreds of hours on the second floor of Robinson Hall. I'm forever grateful that you continue to welcome me even when I took a break after COVID. To Fidel, this is where I met some of my closest friends at Dartmouth. Thank you to our mysterious house advisor, Jidge, and members of our Need One Good Chat. To the 24s, I know you'll all have an amazing senior year, and I hope that you continue to welcome others like seniors welcome me as a freshman. To the 25s, please do what Martel couldn't. <laughs> to the computer science and math departments, Thank you for challenging me to think more deeply. In particular, Deep Sea, you're the best teacher I've ever had, and thank you for introducing me to algorithms and advising my research. You embody the rigorous, logical thinking that we all need more inside this world, and I hope to continue applying what I've learned into my future work in CS. To Pastor Craig and the Wellspring Church community, thank you for providing a space for me to grow in my faith and walk with God. Also, thank you to Rosie for introducing me to this great community. Lastly, to my family. Thank you, Casey and Sean, for being my siblings. <laughs> Thank you, Amma and Appa, for your unwavering support and teaching me to always strive for excellence. Thank you, Imols and Harabojis, for reminding me that it's not vain to have faith in God and his guidance. To the rest of the world, the diplomas that we're about to receive will symbolize the excellent education that we received. But for us, Dartmouth is much more than just four years of lecture halls and exams. Here, We've cultivated a spirit of intellectual curiosity and community that can and should be spread beyond Hanover. So as we step into the next phase of our lives, let's remember the importance of building and nurturing communities wherever we go. 
Seek out those who inspire you, who push you to grow, and who make you feel like you belong. Remember to check in with each other frequently, especially amidst their recent losses. It's through these connections that we'll continue to learn, to thrive, and to make a difference in this world. Remember to hold on to the spirit of Dartmouth. Stay curious, embrace challenges, and build pong tables in your apartments. It's been an incredible four years, and I hope that everyone after graduation can create communities like the ones we found at Dartmouth. If you ever see me on campus again, don't hesitate to send me a need one. Thank you, Dartmouth, and congratulations to the class of 2023. We did it.